Good morning everyone and welcome to Kids at 11 this week. We've been thinking in our service so far about the brilliant news of Easter, how Jesus was raised from the dead. And here I am in our garden, sat by an empty tomb. This isn't normally here, we've made this specially. And churches all around the world make Easter tombs and Easter gardens a bit like this to remember this special day. Maybe you've made an Easter garden this week at home. Now there's one thing in our Easter garden that you might recognise and that's this. It's an angel. Now there are angels in so many bits of the stories we hear about Jesus at Christmas. I wonder can you think of any places that Jesus um, story, Jesus birth story, has got angels in it? Let's think. Let's have a little quiz. So have you all thought of at least one thing where an angel turns up around Jesus' birthday? Okay, so if you said the angel that appears to Mary, then give yourself a pat on the back. Well done. And if you said that the angels appeared to the shepherds in the sky and sang, then well remembered. If you remember, Joseph saw an angel in a dream as well. So that's another one. And bonus points, if you get one uh, where the angel appeared to Zechariah, that often is a story told right at the beginning of Advent, for telling the story of John the Baptist's birth, another angel. Whenever angels appear to people, the first thing anyone ever says, the first thing the angels say is, do not be afraid which makes me think angels must be quite scary. And here we are, back at the end of Jesus' life, outside the tomb, and just like at Jesus' birth, there's an angel. I'm going to read you a story now and listen out for the angel and what the angel says to the people. It was very early. The birds were still in bed and the sun had yet to open its bright eye on the world. The sky was grey and grainy. The air was cold. The women walked slowly towards the graveyard. Jesus was buried there. The women were coming to visit his grave. They talked in sad whispers. They cried. They held each other's hands. Jesus had been dead for three days and they missed him very much. Just as they reached the graveyard, however, some surprising things happened. The ground began to shake. The air began to tremble. And quick as lightning, an angel flashed down from heaven and the stone was rolled away from Jesus' tomb. Everything went quiet. The ground stopped moving but the women shook with fear. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Come and see. The tomb is empty. Jesus is alive. Arm in arm, the women crept past the angel and into the tomb. The sheets were still there. The sheets they had wrapped round his dead body. But Jesus was gone. Where is he? asked the women. What have you done with him? I told you, smiled the angel. He's not dead anymore. He's come back to life and he wants you to tell all his friends. The women looked at each other. They didn't know whether to laugh or cry. They could hardly believe it. That is, until they hurried out of the tomb and ran straight into Jesus. <gasps> oh, Jesus, they cried. It's true, you are alive. And they fell at his feet, amazed. There's no need to be afraid anymore, he said. God has made everything all right. But I have a job for you. I want you to tell the rest of my friends that I'm alive. Tell them I will meet them on the seashore in Galilee, where our adventures started. 
Well, the women waved goodbye to Jesus and hurried off to Jerusalem. The birds were singing now. The sun's bright eye was wide open. And they had the most amazing story to tell. It is an amazing story, isn't it? And that's a retelling of it from Bob Hartman's Storyteller Bible. And it's our story too. Because if Jesus is alive, then he's still alive today and he lives in us by his spirit. And because of that, we can shine his love to the world. So we're going to sing now and we're going to sing shine from the inside out because we want the world to see Jesus' love is still around today. <laughs> back to our angel. They met an angel and the angel said, as we predicted, do not be afraid. The angel brought a message from God. Some people still think there are angels around today. Some people are not so sure. But we know after all of this, that we've got a most amazing message from God. That Jesus didn't stay dead. That he promised us he'd come back to life, and he did. Which actually means all the other things that he said might possibly be true too. That there is a kingdom of heaven, a kingdom of God where God is in charge. I wonder what that might mean for you and for me today. It is such good news. And I wish you a very, very happy Easter. And I bet you've got a few chocolate eggs at your house. You might not have, but you've probably had some before and you've probably seen some too. And quite often we eat eggs at Easter because they remind us of the shape of the tomb. And the chocolate eggs often aren't full but they're empty. 
if you've had a chocolate egg this morning or if you've got one to look forward to maybe when you're munching through that you might remember the empty tomb and the new life that Jesus promises us because of the new life that he brings through his resurrection on Easter Sunday. Thank you for coming here this morning. Thank you for being part of our story, for wandering with us and joining in.